Let's do an ABG practice problem. Let's say our practice problem says your patient is a 32-year-old female admitted to the emergency department after experiencing a severe panic attack. She's visibly anxious and complaining of dizziness and tingling in her fingers. The provider orders arterial blood gases. Here are her ABG results. All right, let's walk through it together using our ABG basic worksheet. The first step is you must know your lab values. A normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Our patient's pH is 7.48, which is alkalotic. A normal CO2 is 35 to 45. Hers is 31, so that's low or alkalotic. Remember, CO2 think acidic. So if we have a low amount, we're not very acidic. We are alkalotic. Now, a normal HCO3 is 22 to 26. Hers is 20, so that's low or acidic. Remember, HCO3 or bicarb is a base. So if we have a low amount, we aren't basic, we are acidic. Now you need to ask yourself, is this a respiratory or a metabolic problem? So the CO2 matches the pH direction. Both are alkalotic, meaning it's a respiratory issue. We see that HCO3 is out of range in the opposite direction, which tells us the kidneys are trying to compensate. Like I mentioned before, it's crucial you know CO2 is an acid and HCO3 or bicarb is a base. Okay, now we need to determine the level of compensation. Is it uncompensated, partially compensated, or fully compensated? Is the pH out of range? Yes. Is the CO2 out of range? Yes. Is the HCO3 out of range? Yes. Now, since all of these are out of range, that means it's partially compensated, making our final answer partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. If you need more repetition like this in nursing school, you can grab the complete laminated study templates. This allows you to practice different subjects over and over again because sometimes it takes a few reps to retain the information. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.